Okay, so we did our sky replacement, we did our grass replacement. Now let's fix up the water. So we'll go to our water tools, click water, make a selection of your pool. I'm just going to use my lesser tool to deselect there. I'm going to hold Alt and click. Now I can leave Alt. I already selected my point, so you just need to hold Alt for that first click. Then we go and deselect. Now insert water, water brushes, and I like brush 5, so I'm going to go with that one. Resize your brush, and just as we did with the grass, we want to hold the brush just above the old, the highest point of the old water, and click. Make sure it's on 100% opacity and flow. Now, at this point, you will decide whether you need to um, leave this folder on pass through or on hard light. So if if all I need to do is add color, make the color fix the color, like for example this green pool. If there wasn't leaves or anything major in this pool, then I would only need to change the color. Then you can set it to hard light and then just adjust your levels and the color but in a case that you need to fill up a pool then you would need to leave this on pass through so then it gets a bit more complicated so let's firstly fix our reflection so I'm gonna just higher the opacity about 50 so I can see what's happening. I'm gonna bring down my Gaussian blur. I'm gonna bring down the zigzag. Actually, I'm gonna turn it off. I don't need it on this image. <coughs> Click the move tool, drag down so you can see the structure reflecting or anything that's close to the pool. That's what you're going to focus on. Then hold Control or Command on a Mac, Shift and Alt or Option on a Mac. And then just drag this handle. You want to skew that reflection. You can bring back the, uh, bring down the, uh, the opacity. And then if you need, you can just adjust your opacity, your your levels and your color. But I'm gonna leave mine as is it looks fine. So we need to now just double click on inner shadow and turn up the shadow. I'm gonna turn it up all the way. And then just move your your your, your shadow. Something like that. The shadow is kind of strong. You can look at the shadow that's already in your image. And then you can get an idea of how soft your shadows need to be. And then OK. And now, to make it more realistic, what we're missing is the reflection of this mosaic. So to do that, go to your wood, um, first choose your lasso tool and then select the edge. I need to get a bit of the top tiles in as well. <coughs> um, you don't need to worry about this section here because that's not going to, when, when this is flipped, it's not going to show in the water. 
because of the ground that's covering this area. So don't need to worry about that portion there. Now click Edge Reflection. Now just hold uh, Shift and then click onto the layer and just drag it down and let the points meet just on one end. Then hold Control Command and Shift and drag this left handle up, something like that. And just check if you need to clean up. So here I just need to delete this section. Just uh, press delete. And now the next reflection. Get some of the tiles in as well. Again, hold shift, left click, drag it to meet the point, and then and just drag with the control shift and drag the right handle. And enter. <clears throat> Drag down while open shop. Just make sure you don't click on anything else. Make sure you get that handle. Wait till your handle changes white. Because I'm selecting the back layer as well. Because I'm not waiting till I see a white handle now the last one And then just delete that portion. And there you go. Um, if you want to add a bit more a realistic shadow in, and then what you can do is click onto your bottom reflection, create a new layer, select your brush, choose a round brush. Around soft brush and choose black color and then just brush in a soft shadow or you can use the lasso tool to be more accurate so this shadow looks like it's going something like this
and then I'm just going to paint this whole area. And now you can just lower the opacity, something like that. Choose your smudge tool, mine's on 50%. Sample layers are ticked off, finger painting is ticked off. And then just smudge it a bit, just give it a few clicks. So something like that, and that's done. Uh, I hope you guys like this in the this tutorial for your sky replacement, your grass replacement, and your water fixing or water filling. Um, you can subscribe to the channel. We'll be uploading a few more videos as well, a few extra ones, and uh, you can ring the bell so that you get notified whenever we upload new tutorials. Cheers, guys.